Buongiorno again, YouTubers. Welcome to part three of Lou <laughs> attempts to conquer space in Kerbal Space Program. Now, last time, if you remember, um, if you've been following the last couple of episodes, um, I did manage to get into space, and my spaceship, unfortunately, the probe, failed quite miserably. But hey ho, it's one of those things. It happens. So, I'm just going to go straight in and let's see what we can build this time around. Now, I'm trying to decide on whether to um, go for a standard rocket with people, or, or sorry, with Kerbals, or with um, by doing remote control. So, I'm just thinking, of, i tell you what, let's go for this because it says it's got life stability program. There we go. I need to make sure that that side there, the octo bit, is facing the right way. At least it's got surfaces that we can mount stuff on, i.e. like parachutes and so on and so forth. So that's the first thing I'm going to do, is stuff a couple of parachutes on it. Make sure we're going uh, multiple sides there, so that should do the trick. So I'll bosh that there. It is flat at the top, so I'm going to need... Oh, that's way too big. Gonna need a protective nose cone, aren't I really? Those are too big, like, aren't they? Well, let's go with that for the minute, because we've got it, it. In all honesty, a flat surface against the wind is never a good idea. It never is. Let's move that out of the way. Can that, I know it sounds looks a bit odd. No, it's gonna look like a dunce's cap, isn't it? Right. Okay, we've got Octo, and there's a nose cone at least. It'll keep it sort of sweat. I'll tell you what, though, I wonder. I think the best thing I can do, probably do here is... Well, that, that'll fit underneath there, but that's not where I was after. If I put that on there, and then put the nose cone on top, that will give us a little bit of leeway at least, I suppose, and I could add some batteries to it. Uh, electrical. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I've got the um, rechargeable battery pack. So if I push that underneath there. In fact, I'll stick it on top like that. And then add um, four of these. Like that. Because then we have some um, availability for uh, solar power. Hey, now we're. Hey, I tell you what, hang on then. That won't work if we do it like that, will it? Because they'll all sort of. Um, well, at least I suppose I'll have the, the lot surrounded. I suppose that's a, a good way to. Do it, I suppose. Well, then would that would that work? That looks like it's going to be well out of joint, though, doesn't it? Well, we can only try and see, can we? We can only try. We can only try. At least we're not putting people in harm's way here. We are just having a faff about, and we're just trying to get something into space. Right. I'm going to go with the same plan as beforehand by using the. Um, What's the word I was looking for? So, I need that. Oh, do you know what? My words have failed me today for some odd reason. That's it, the service bay. I still, I'm still going to use the service bays to uh, keep hold of our um, experiments. But I'm going to put the control line in there that that will keep us safe you see wheel authority that will keep us stabilized i'm pretty sure the octo jobby will as well but you know better to be safe than sorry i suppose is the best word here right let's open the service bays and let's bosh our experiments in there now i've actually got a science junior as well so i'm going to put him down here so let's get the thermometer in there as well like we usually do uh, only two, don't need eight of them. So that's good. And uh, the barometer, yes. 
Let's make sure it's pointing the right way. That's that's good. That's good. The usual goo containment. There's our ones that we usually get. Right, so we close them up and close that up. There's our sciencey bits done as best we can anyway. Now what's this detection array? How big is it? That's pretty big, like, isn't it? Ooh. Oh man, that's well massive. Keep on pressing the wrong setting button. It won't open. It doesn't show me where it does. Does it open? Or is that it? So I scale scan a high concentration of carbonite and other resource seen from orbit and well outside the blaster areas. I don't understand how this works. So I'm not looking forward to this one because this could be very tricky. I'm going to go full throttle to begin with, even though I probably won't need it. Oh, and we're away. Oh, can I get me um, stability control on? Well, we're off. I'm going to bring down my central rocket down a tad because that's going to waste a lot of liquid fuel. And I'd rather just have the SRBs do that. Let's go quarter thrust. So far, so good. Nearing a thousand meters, 54 meters a second. Let's head forward a tad. Let's get to 70 degrees. So far, so good. We're looking well. Speed's building up quite nicely. Slightly off kilter. Full thrust now on the central rocket. It's a bit wibbly. Not liking it, not liking it, not liking it. Ooh. Fought a lot. No, let's go. That wasn't working out too well. The little rocket. Ah, oh, bad boy, go. Made it six kilometres. Well, that's a bugger, isn't it? Well, shit. <laughs> Got nothing to research there because I've researched it all. Um, log temperature, can't research that, researched it all. And uh, might as well keep that because we've got some. But my science boy's gone missing. Because he got blue to shit. At least we're getting some direct sunlight on those. Well, you know, every failure leads to a, a potential success at a later date. Let's uh, fast forward this up so we land sooner rather than later. Look at them. Honestly, those rockets are mental, aren't they? <laughs> that's a little bit too fast for my liking I don't think these um, parachutes can uh, do the trick I've got a feeling this is going to be a total failure it's going to be a TFU really in it, a total faff up did it make it? well some of it bore the brunt. So 
some of the goo escapes into water. We didn't collect that. We've never collected the temperature or the pressure from the water. Well, it, it's a, a result. It's not the best of results, but never mind. Let's recover. And we've got some sciencey points, which is good news. Right, let's get into... I don't think I can actually buy anything with R&D at the present minute because we don't have any, that many points. See, they're all 90 now, and I've only got 69. Never mind. Um, it is where it is. Right, let's head into the old vehicle assembly building, and let's try and suss out what went wrong. I think, in all honesty, it's just purely because of the length of it. Um, that's the reason why it failed. I mean, if I get shot of that bit there, let's tell you what, let's get shot of that, at least, because that should, in theory, now work. I think what I had there was two um, reactionary wheels going against each other, um, and I think that's what the problem was. Should we have some lights? I can't really put them there, can I? Let's have, let's have some light and, you know, let's, let's have push it out a tad. Right. Well, let, let's take those to 75%. That's at 65. That's also digging at the ground. I need that uh, just taken up slightly. Like that. That's better. Right. Okay, so we've got our multi-stage rocket again. That's fine, that's good, that's good. We're away with that, that's good. That's fine, and we've still got our two parachutes. I'm gonna change that so we get that to, say, 0.5 minimum pressure, and we change that to 2,000 meters. Right, we're good to go. And here we go. Hopefully, Right, we've got the stability control on again. And let's go full throttle, because that'll give us the uh, the full throttle for the middle rocket. And three, two, one. Blast off. Blast off. Okay, we've got a good rate of climb. Got just knock that middle rocket down a tad. Just going to start edging it over to 70 degrees. So far, so good. A little bit shaky, a little bit shaky. Let's get to 70, uh, there we go, we've got 65 degrees. 60 degrees, let's keep on heading that way. We seem to have a little bit of a wobble on. That's fine. We're doing well speed wise. We're at 4,000 metres. Just going to take the throttle up a tad. Let's get the half throttle. We're still at a nice 60 degree angle there. That's good. Actually, we didn't put the lights on, did we? There to are we go. Right. 400 metres a second at 9,000, 10,000 metres. Right, we're going to go full whack. We should just about run out of solid fuel boosters. And three, two, one. Boosters away. <gasps> that was lucky. And we're doing quite steady. Oh, that's good. We're doing quite steady 500 metres a second. Let's get this flattened out about 45 degrees. There we go, we're doing really well fuel-wise. I think it's got someone using 65% of um, thrust availability. Hey, we, hey, we might even be able to get this into a proper orbit. We're doing well at 600 metres a second. I'm just going to bring that down a bit. I don't think it will be going mad. Save fuel. We're going to make orbit very well. Bring 
that throttle down a bit we're doing well we're at 35 degree angle and we're in orbit 36,000 feet 37 we're rolling a tad and we have a lot of fuel available so I'm going to bring this right down and we've still got a little bit of speed on that's good now we're going to go to the world view while we're still doing that we've not done too badly at all I'm just going to go flat out now let's see if we can actually make of it without using the manoeuvres. Let's see if we can do this right. So far we're doing well. Now let's bring up our gimbal. As soon as I've hit an orbit, As soon as I've hit an orbit, I'll be very happy. Ooh, crap, 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 crap. I need to be aiming up here. This could prove disastrous. I've hit the top of the atmosphere and I could go kablooey very soon. Shit sticks. Well, as soon as I see one of those red marks, I'm uh, not even climbing. No, that's it. Gonna have to do a ball. Oh, you bastard! Took me nose cone. At least my heat shield stayed intact. Got nothing that's new there. Nothing that's new there. It's going to be now new there. I might as well take it while I can. up here. <sighs> Beautiful scene though. <laughs> In the middle of nowhere. That was going quite well until I hit the top end of the atmosphere. I was being a little bit too cocky there I think. Never mind. It happens. And again that's what this game's for. It's to sort of teach you about things and about to get you to I suppose understand the meaning of success and failure. Now, shoots should come out soon. Didn't expect that to happen either. I'm a bit bummed about that, but at least I know. Right, so the set at 0.5. And there goes the landline. It went off actually. I thought I had those on. I'm just going to let it ring out.
Well, let's get that down there and at least claim some science points. At least I've got a sl at least I've got a good sort of slow descent, which is ideal. Like I say, never mind. It, you know, this it, it, this is stuff that we need to work with this particular game. We need to learn, I suppose, about what's what. Don't think I'll be able to get anything on that. It's a one point nine science. Nothing on there. Nothing on there. I'm keeping the one in there because it was 129 summit. No, 112, sorry. If you notice the difference, so if you recover it, you get more science than you would if you transmit it. Transmission would be fine if you've got, say, for example, a satellite that you won't be able to recover at all. And we're almost down. Nice soft landing. I won't be able to get anything from the mystery goo. Might as well take that while I can. That's got useless. Look temperature, that's useless. Right, let's recover everything. Tracking station. Why did that say 112 on recovery, but then it only gives me 70 odd? That's a bastard. No, that's that's unfair. That's a bugger. Bum wipes. Well, there was nothing wrong with the flight, in all honesty, apart from me hitting the upper atmosphere, which I'm a bit bummed about. So I'm half tempted to, in all honesty, get rid of all that. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to keep all that. I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep all that, but I'm going to get a shot of that. And I'm going to get a command pod. I'm going to get a per person in this. Or a, or a curb, I should say. Right, okay, there we go. So I still want it to have... Um, some power of sorts. Hang on, let me just get rid of that there. Let me put that there. Let me move the parachutes down. And let me put these all around like this. Right, so now we should have... I know it looks a bit funny, but we've got a nose cone with that, with the solar panels. We have a good couple of parachutes, which will be fine if I set them off correctly. We've got that, we've got them. Right. Right, okay. How are we looking at the floor side of things? We're looking good. Right. Actions. Abort. See, the last thing I didn't do was add them. Deploy. So if I scroll all the way out, so I should have I'll tell you what, let's, let's chuck all them and start from scratch. So we should have them. Shut down engine. 
decouple. Shut down engine. Decouple. Shut down engine. Decouple. And deploy. So. So what the them there shut down decouple shut down decouple shut down decouple ready let's try this again with a kerbal inside and we have bill this time bill kerman Right, full throttle, we've got all the right stages. We're looking good. Right, Bill, are you ready, sunshine? Lift off, three, two, one. And we're away. No operation, let's see, yes again. Bollocks. I'm gonna do this manual. This is going to prove fun. Right, let's knock that down a tad so we don't want to go full throttle and waste all of our fuel. We're already off course. I'm going to tilt this forward. This is not going to board well. I tell you what, I'm going to revert the flight back to the vehicle assembly. I'm going to zoom in because what we need. Control and command, small inline reaction wheel, advanced inline stabiliser is what we require. I'm going to get rid of that, push it underneath there. Because the ledge have your reaction wheel, spin very quickly through Now, do I also put on a couple of RCS rockets? I'll tell you what I will do. I'll put three of them. There. Alright, I need to do my actions again from your bots. So that. Oh, it's already there. It's already there. That's good. Decouple, shut down, decouple, deploy. Happy. Right. Shall we try again? Untitled spacecraft. There's no operational SAS. Modules and no... Pa ah, do you know the reason why? He's an engineer. That's the reason why. That's the reason why. Right. I need the right crew in. I need Valentina instead. I need a pilot. Let's try this again. Launch. Now we should find. <laughs> there we go. Stability assist. Right. Okay. Full throttle. Zoom out a tad. Right. Lift off in three, two, one. And we're away. Sixty 
five percent. Let's not get down about now we're two hundred kilometer uh, two hundred kilometers, two hundred meters a second. Get that about sixty degrees, 50, 40, 55. That looks good. Let's get the lights on to show everybody where we are. So the ship is the bitch in business. Oh, 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 oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Let's get rid of them. This isn't looking good, is it? What went wrong there? What the hell went wrong? Oh well, it it, it happens. We're at 18,000 metres. And at least we're still climbing, I suppose that's a positive. I wanna just got an angle down too much.